I'm back live. Yay! Yay! So just basic uh, CD cases like these. Ching chong. Very simple. Uh, these were given to me by a guy I know. He's written this, Paul Mooney. He wrote this song. These are his own CDs that didn't do too well in uh, sales, but hey ho, he tried. And he gave me he gave me these cases. And what you do is you cut your CDs up to the size that you want. Bloody dust. There's a piece there. Uh, because obviously these are going to get smaller and smaller up here. The CDs get smaller, so there's no point doing it all big. Um, so, yeah, normal CDs. And then we just get a marker. This is a permanent marker, black marker. And we just scribble on them. Scribble, 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 a scribble, 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 and scribble. Okay, you just scribble on it like that. Let me put it against the table so you can see it. And then you flip it over and you do exactly the same. Now what I do is I go the opposite way. And what that does, as the glue, we're using super glue, CA glue, and what happens is as you stick these CDs together, it kind of, you can't really see it there, not very well, but it, it kind of mottles and uh, marbles the ink and melts it and washes it all together. So there's no point colouring the whole thing in because, well, it's a waste of time and ink. And then all we do is we get some super -y glue. I just use the cheap dollar store stuff, euro store, pan shop. I think these cost me... 150 for three, one, one euro 50 cent for three. And you just glue. And what I do is I just run a, I run lines of glue down here like this. And because obviously, because this is an angle, it's gonna wash down, which is helpful. And I use my CD, the next CD I'm gonna be sticking on just to uh, spread it across, get it right across the whole kit and caboodle. Make sure that the whole area is covered. And then you just, oh, don't let any bit of chip like that get in the middle because it causes an air pocket. And then drop your CD on. And what happens is it's like two sheets of glass and water. Capillary traction, I think it's called. It sucks the two together like this. You can move it around for a short time. And then you want to push all the way out to the outside. And what that does is it pushes all the air out, pushes the glue across the CDs or the cases. When I say CDs, I mean cases. There you go. They're just plastic anyway. So it's no harmful turning these and it is turning resin. There you go. That gets all the air and that's solid. That's all you do. Bish bash bosh. Jobs a freaking good one. I've just stuck my thumb to the blank. So, does this class as a hybrid? I was hemming and hiring whether I'm allowed to call this a hybrid, but I think it's a hybrid. Just because it's not resin, doesn't matter, does it? I think the black against the beach is going to look nice, actually. If it works. If it explodes, it explodes. Like, I'm not guaranteeing you this is going to work, folks. I have had a good few... CD case failures. Two more people, two more. We're nearly there, patience. No! Well that's fooped. Stop the knife to my tissue. It's all going wrong. I've thrown two on the floor now, hopefully I don't need them. If I do, balls to it, I don't care. There, last one now. I think we got more than enough on there, it'll turn down to what I want anyway. Pack my table away. That is my groin. It's tea cozy on my head, yeah. I've got a cold. I don't care what I look like. I'm warm. That's all that matters. Where is my mic from? It's from my headset. 
and my headset's on my head. <laughs> right, I can't feel my thumbs, I'm just going to leave that like that. Um, hopefully I won't cut them off, but if I do, I won't feel it anyway. Okay, I'm going to just mute this for a second because this saw is really annoyingly loud. There we go. One block, hybrid, ready to uh, rumble. Feck it. Do you know what? I'm just going to put it between centers and put a tenon on it. I'm going to go for it. No, I use um, software called ManyCam. Go figure. Because I'm using many cameras. And that's it. Right, uh, I'm going to put it that way. could end up as a dumpy egg. I think I am going to put a mortise on this just for safety purposes. Okay. Now I'm just taking really light cuts. Not being aggressive at all. I'm going to go with my bowl gouge. Just because it's got more surface area to work with. Yeah, that's better. Never work with a loose nut. Okay, we're nearly round. As you can see, they're cutting a lot better now. So I'm going to use my parting tool and put a bit of a tenon. There we go. We can get that in the chuck now and uh, make it a bit safer. I just want to make sure that that's tight. Let's do this. Let's make an egg. Now I'm going to do some pull cuts, I think. Hey! There goes our first bit. See what I mean? So we've lost that chunk. That's all right. We're going to be cutting that anyway. Let's just hope we don't lose any more. Son of a bitch. Thank God for face masks. I'm just taking small little pieces off at a time. You can't rush stuff like this. Doing pull cuts now. Still pushing the CDs into each other. Well, that's looking cool now. We've almost got rid of the ghost. That's the ghost that you're seeing when it's spinning. And it's starting to look cool now. You're getting the effect of the CDs. That's looking cool now. I like that. Don't be afraid to use your parting tool as a shaping tool as well. Get the rest with the thin parting tool. It's never ideal to work that close to the chuck, but I know my tools. That's better, that blends in nice. Okay. That's good. I'm just going to use my 
skew as a negative rake scraper just to clean it up a little bit trick is to very light touches with the skew when it's on its side like this on the CDs because they'll melt that will probably sand up nicely yeah that'll sand up nicely now I think the reason why I said we'll try 180 I'm not sure how this end grain is gonna sand up we might have to go to a lower grit to try and get the end grain out of it I'm also glad I went with the black because as I've gone deeper on this beach there's some black lines or black markings that have shown so it all kind of works out nicely I'm going to use the spray sanding sealer chestnut one it's just a lot handier right Yorkshire grit time bound chicken wow wow Okay, we'll go with the microphone. Now it's going to be no Fabergé. But, it is shiny. Now I think we'll give it a wood wax 22. A wood wax 22. little buff that's okay I think that's as good as we're gonna I like the black I'm liking the black Ooh. now in an ideal world I would have been able to part this off but I just didn't have enough left on the bone to uh, get the parting tool in there and I wasn't gonna risk killing the whole project just to uh, use a parting tool That's it, it's got that blended in. Turn that noisy uh, doodah off. And the other one. It's egg shaped. It's a dumpy egg, but it's an egg. And it worked out alright in the end. The sported beach with the black through the top there goes nice uh, the black colouring in the CD cases and you can see it has got a nice shine it's a different look I can't afford resin so I make do with upcycling try and get up close has that pearl type effect that's not the best camera so thank you I will see you Sunday on the podcast and next Tuesday. If there's anything you would like to see turned, if there's anything that you've, you're having difficulties with or something, a technique you'd like to then let me know and I'll do a little bit of studying and I'll try it myself and then we can kind of learn together if it's a new, new thing. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks to those that gave me super chats. I'll look back and I'll send messages to people that, that gave. And thank you. And I'll see you again soon with my uh, super glue thumb cleaned up, hopefully. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye. Temple. Boom. Ta da Magic. Boom. Ah. Ha. Ah, boom.
that was fun. <laughs>